it's dinner time. So that means it's wine time. So need this glass of wine right now. It has been one heck of a day, but that's not gonna ruin my dinner tonight. I am still coming home to make something delicious that I am in the mood for, and that happens to be octopus. Um, I went to the fish market on my way home from work and I picked up octopus. I just asked for the tentacles, they had two different things. They had a whole octopus, they had frozen, and then they had a section with just some tentacles. So these are all just tentacles, and I am going to cook them first, boil them, uh, and a little bit of beer, I have a pot going on right now, and then I'm gonna get this little side salad that we're gonna make pepper and onion salad. After they boil for around 20 minutes, we're gonna throw them on the grill, char them up, serve them room temp, because it is way too hot outside right now to be eating a hot meal. We're gonna have a nice room temp, a nice glass of wine. I put the octopus in the boiling water. It has water, beer, and salt, and a bay leaf in it. And I'm gonna literally let it cook at rolling boil for 20 minutes, and then drain it, towel dry it before we grill. And the salad I'm gonna make is I'm gonna julienne some peppers up and um, a little bit of red onion and a little bit of sweet onion and some fresh parsley and make like a nice light vinaigrette salad. I'm actually thinking of adding a little cucumber in here. Ooh, cucumber's definitely getting added in here. And a nice little fresh salad to put the octopus right on top of, keeping it simple, clean, and delicious. Let's talk about cutting and cleaning a pepper. Constantly people are like, how do you clean a pepper? Because I lose so much. You should not lose that much. You should get the whole pepper. So take your knife and you're gonna start by cutting down. You're never gonna take your knife out of this position now, okay? You're gonna use it as you roll. Keep rolling. Keep rolling all the way around. Just keep rolling. Your knife, you're not even really moving your knife. You're just guiding it along. You're gonna get to the end, you're gonna come off and you have, you can now turn this up in small dice. You have cleaned. Your pepper completely, see that? Then you can line this up and we're making julienne into nice little strips, see? See how easy that was? We'll do it one more time. One more time, take your pepper, turn it on its side, go for one side, keep it on an angle and just roll your pepper, keep rolling it Keep rolling it, keep rolling it. Roll your pepper, and then your pepper will come off perfectly clean. That's how you clean a pepper. So now you see this is what you have left. So now you take your knife and cut the bottom and you have nothing left on top. You can go in the garbage and you can still slice the base up. Pretty much no waste. And you're just throwing away really the stem with the seeds. I hope you learned something new on how to cut a pepper. Really big, really big red onion. I'm only gonna use half of this, but see if you look at the onion and you cut it this way, you're gonna automatically get the thin slices that you're looking for. Touch your fingers, go across. Oops, slipped, slipped. There we go. And then you just take this and you open it up with your hands like this into your salad. Okay, super easy. Really nice, really fresh, colorful salad we have here. Just gotta make a little vinaigrette to go with it. Oh, let me add the parsley. Almost forgot the parsley. So tossing it together, I'm gonna still sit on the side. And remember, like they have a nice crunch right now. If you want it softer, just let it sit in the vinegar a little bit longer. If not, don't have the vinegar and saute them. You can make this just a hot dish with the peppers and the onions. But by tomorrow, this salad too, on top of your green salad for lunch with a little bit of grilled chicken or whatever's left over. But this is perfect, you can just keep it on the side. Okay, in the bowl, fresh chopped parsley, the red onion and the peppers. We're gonna add olive oil, probably around a little less than a quarter of a cup. We're gonna add some fresh ground pepper. Some coarse sea salt. And then, instead of using red wine vinegar, I am gonna use white balsamic vinegar. So it's a little bit sweeter, not as tart. And the reason that is, is because I think the peppers already have enough acidity and enough bite with a little bit of raw onion 
And a little sweetness. Look how beautiful and colorful this is. The octopus is gonna sit right on top of this. Oof, I'm excited for dinner. It doesn't always have to be heavy and 20 different, you know, sauces and casserole and baked. It could sometimes just be light, fresh veggies, grilled fish. So I just wanna check this out. Oh, perfect. And the vinegar will soften the peppers a little bit. If you want to saute this, feel free to saute it. Okay, we're going to grill our octopus, so we're oiling our grates. Oof, nice and hot. Perfect. So then you're going to take your octopus, let me just show you, they came out of the boiling water, and we're going on the grill. Hear that sear? Oh yeah, we're going to get a nice char on them. Beautiful. They're on this beautiful hot, hot grill. So we're gonna go four minutes on each side to get a nice char. Take them off, let them cool, serve them with our salad. I'm gonna show you the end result of a beautiful light dinner. Octopus grilled, charred perfectly. That pepper salad, a little olive oil and sea salt drizzled right on top. Manja.